You know, when I was 12, I visited Kufri during my winter break. It was the first time in my life I had seen snow. I spent the whole day making snowballs. I had so many that I decided to save a big batch for the next day. I took as many snowballs as I could carry and kept them safely under my bed. The next morning when I woke up, I looked under my bed and I was shocked. Can you guess what had happened? There was nothing but a large puddle of water under the bed. The snowballs were all gone. I have a few theories about how this happened. Maybe someone took my snowballs and left the water. Or maybe snowballs are claustrophobic. Or the warmth from the room melted the snow into water. Why don't we try to figure this out all together? All these years later. To investigate, let's put an ice cube in this beaker and wait. It's, it's melted. It turned into water. Ice, which is the solid form of water, is melting to form liquid water. Melting is the process by which a solid turns into a liquid by gaining heat. So it looks like my snowballs melted from the warmth of the room. Next time, I'll put them in the fridge. <laughs> Can you think of some more examples where we observe melting? I know, a candle. Wax is solid at room temperature and melts into liquid when it is heated. Let's observe this, shall we? We can use blocks of wax. The wax melted on heating. When this melted wax is cooled, it becomes solid again. So melting is a reversible change. Even rocks and metals melt if they are heated enough. We can melt metals to shape them easily. The magma inside a volcano is really molten rock. Now, let's light a candle and observe what changes are taking place. There are two things happening here. Wax is melting as well as burning. As we know, melted wax can be solidified again but once wax is burnt, it cannot be obtained back. Because burning is an irreversible change. I wonder, water does not burn like wax. I wonder, what will happen if we continue heating the water in the beaker? disappeared. Did it escape? Let's try that again. But this time, I'll place a lid on the beaker so it can't escape and watch closely. Here you can see that water is boiling. When we boil water, the heat energy converts water into water vapour. Do you think water can be converted into water vapour without boiling it? Where does the water go from the wet clothes after they are spread under the sun? The heat of the sunlight converts the water into water vapour that goes into the air. Here, the water is converted into water vapour without actually boiling. But <laughs> heating does the trick. The liquid can be converted into gas on heating. The process of liquid converting into a gaseous form without boiling is called evaporation. Is there any possible way to get back liquid water from these water vapours? Have a close look at this lid which is placed on the beaker while boiling of water. We see water droplets gathering under the plate. We have just converted water vapour to water droplets. 
Cooling converts water vapors to liquid and this process is called condensation. Let's have a quick revision by guessing the process of these changes. Changing of water into water vapor is evaporation. Changing of ice into water is melting. Changing of water vapor into water is condensation. I wonder, all those years ago, if I had known all this, could I have turned the water back into snowballs? Uh, <laughs> just something to think about. Keep observing how the things around you change from one state to another. And remember, we stay curious.